Good evening from Expert Credit Sweep. So tonight I'm going to show you how to remove public records, bankruptcies, taxing, judgments, evictions, anything that goes under public records, this can work for it. And I'm going to make it really, really simple. So this is a bankruptcy. I do have notes on the side on the right over here. And um, okay, so I chose this report because this dude had a lot of them on here. Um, this is an older report from 2016, but this is his first report, so I chose it. So bankruptcies are substantially more difficult to remove now than they were a couple of years ago. A couple of years ago, you could have gotten them off in as little as five days. But I'm going to give you the bad news because nobody wants to tell you this stuff, but I'm going to tell you bankruptcies are super freaking difficult to remove. Okay, so you have to know how to remove them. I will show you in a different video what you can do besides this, but we're just looking for what belongs and what doesn't belong on here. Okay, so let me show you Equifax down here and I highlighted it. Okay, so the date, the filing date is listed as 12 one twenty. Uh, 2820 the year 2820 does not exist okay so you can use that to remove it from Equifax you can also see that right here where it says the court name it's listed as US Dist Court okay so US Dist Court literally needs to be listed as US District Court City and State or US Bankruptcy Court City and State okay so these are the things that you were looking for but the number one thing with Equifax is using the filing date to get the thing removed. As you can also see, it has a liability of K. K is not numerical, okay? It is alphabetical. How is the letter K any sort of number? I mean, it just doesn't make any sense. So obviously it represents something like zero, um, but it doesn't belong on there. Okay, so use that to get it off Equifax. Also, as you can see right here, it's supposed to have a reference number. There is no reference number, and that's not because I went and I removed it. That one literally didn't have it because I did remove um, the docket numbers and the client's information from this. But that one didn't have it. Okay, so let's look at TransUnion. TransUnion looks pretty darn good, but there's no liability and there's no reference number and uh, it says US bankruptcy court without the city and state. Okay, so look over here on the right. So TransUnion is always going to report it as federal district, US bankruptcy court or um, federal, federal court or something like that. So it has to have the actual name of the court to be able to stay on the report. Okay, and just so you know, I'm using reports from Credit Check Total, and the reason for that is that it's always going to report inaccurately. I don't give a crap what the actual report from the bureau looks like. I get people asking me that all the time. I don't care what those reports look like, okay? Just because the bureau has the information accurately listed on their reports doesn't mean anything because nobody goes directly to the bureaus to pull the reports. They use some other systems such as credit monitoring or, you know, like a mortgage report or whatever. OK, because they do not go directly to the bureau and pull it from somewhere else. It doesn't matter what's on their report, okay? So anyways, back to this. Credit Check Total is a site that I recommend, but it's also going to show ac inaccurately on um, ex other Experian-related websites such as freecreditreport.com or experian.com. Um, it also even shows different filing dates on Privacy Guard, okay? So those are the sites that you want to use, but this is going to show you the most inaccurate information. So anyways, instead of you just staring at a screen, I'm going to continue. To remove it from Experian, Experian is the most difficult to remove, okay? My recommendation is to challenge not only the fact that it says BKPT and sometimes BKRT, um, you know, it has to be listed accurately, so it has to say bankruptcy court just because they abbreviate it and it makes sense to them. Uh, sense to them, it doesn't make any sense to you. And once again, it has to be listed accurately and completely. But you can also challenge, um, you know, where they're pulling their information from because whether it's public record or not, you know, they obviously don't get this information from you know the court. So you can even just say, hey, I contacted the court. The clerk verified that they don't, you know, um, verify records with the credit uh, credit reporting agencies and I've blocked my other public record information so where are you pulling this information from and you're required to have first-hand knowledge which means that you need to furnish the actual petition they're never going to do that so as you can see right here 2020 US Discord K uh, 1820 
seriously, U.S. Discord, okay. Okay, so I'm going over to uh, liens. These are very, very easy. So in comparison to bankruptcies, these can come off as soon as the bureaus get the actual information. But just as I'm showing you that there's errors on here, you also have to show them that there's errors on there, okay? So print out page five, or if it's five through six, whatever it is, that's going to be the public record pages of the report. Mark it up like I have, not with these highlighted dots because those go with the comments over here. But put the arrows on there or right down here, you know, choose, um, you can do this with the, uh, you know, obviously you can just print it out and write on it, but you can also use something like this. And I'm using a uh, cami. You can also use a uh, screenshot extension, whatever, but you can just put, you know, that uh, TransUnion shows, if I could spell correctly, TransUnion shows this was paid delete okay as simple as that and draw an error over here and you'd send that to Experian because Experian is showing 17,444 as the balance but as you can see over here where I have my arrow TransUnion is showing that this is paid okay TransUnion is always going to show that it's paid whether it's paid or not obviously if Experian is showing a balance is probably not paid okay so you can use that to get off Experian and you can use it to get off TransUnion. But look at the court name. The court name shows recorder of deed. That is a type of court. Okay. Another thing is right here is his plaintiff. Look all the way across here. B184P63. What the hell is that? It's not a plaintiff. I mean, unless we are all numbers now or whatever. As you can see, the dates are the same. The court obviously is not the same, but the only thing that's reporting inaccurately on Experian is the balance. Use TransUnion to get Experian off. This one, however, does not have anything on here to um, use in comparison. So this was actually a good thing to show you because you can just state this was paid. Okay, so the balance of $11,826 is not correct. But you also need to remember that uh, July 1st changes made it so that your name, date of birth, and like social or whatever is supposed to report on the public record section for judgments and tax liens. And because your information is not reporting on here, it has to be removed. Okay. So same thing with Equifax over here, just as the bankruptcy, it's reporting a filing date that doesn't exist, 110001. Burr CDC. Just because they understand what it is doesn't mean that's reported accurately. It actually has to have the, the legal court name. Okay. And this one right here is still showing, you know, 17444. Use a transunion to get that off or use the filing date. Okay. And this, uh, these, not this one, this is a different client with the bankruptcy, but these three reports here are all one client where it says AF report one, AF report two, actually it says 21 and AF report three. That was just a typo. So let's look at number two. So this is his, uh, that was round one when he signed up, did his analysis first disputes. This is round two. So he only has three remaining. Okay. So, and it's the two Equifax and one on TransUnion. And these two are the same right here. Okay. So I did it again and I challenged where they're getting their information from. And I pointed out once again, that these are reporting inaccurately. They cannot stay on there. And of course you can see that uh, Experian removed them. Okay. So this was the second uh, so run one, run two. So this is run two results. Okay. So all public records are gone. It says right here, there are no public records on your credit report at this time. Okay, so the reason they're gone is because I know what to look for. Okay, you need to know what belongs, what doesn't belong. Okay, so that's what you can do to remove these judgments, tax liens, evictions, criminal records, uh, and even child support if they are under public records. 
if they're under, you know, collections, then obviously that is a different method. But once again, this is based off of credit check total. And um, if you were to use an Experian report, such as from Experian.com, just go to the public record section and you will also see that Equifax is still reporting on there. Um, it'll probably show not as 11001, but probably like 121001 or something to that nature. So anyways, if you have questions, you can obviously go to expertcreditsweeps.com forward slash book dash online and find out how I can assist you with your public records or, you know, your collections, charge offs, whatever. I find out what I can do for you today. So you guys have a great evening. I will be coming out with another video sometime soon. I'm pretty, pretty darn busy right now, but, um, you know, just had the baby and everything. So anyways, if you need assistance, let me know. And otherwise I'll see you guys on the next video.